from prioritization with love. Uh, what is prioritization? So when you're saying about prioritization, uh, the best definition uh, came from Scrum Study. I'm pretty sure that you are uh, used with scrumstudy.com. Um, but let's think a little bit in our, in our life. You have two tasks to do. Like uh, you need to go into market to, to, to buy some apples and you need to, to pay your electricity because um, uh, if you are not paying the electricity, uh, the, the company may cut it. So which, is, which task is the most important? Of course, the electricity, <laughs> because the apples uh, are, are in the market and you can go at, uh, I don't know, um, at any hour you, you want to go. So prioritization may seem simple at the uh, at, uh, at the first glance and uh, may seem uh, may seem like okay uh, you are doing that doing that and doing that but sometimes it's not uh, it's not really easy especially when you are uh, working with products with software products and uh, you are handling a lot of stuff like i don't know uh, in in my experience uh, until now the 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 most difficult part for me it's a uh, prioritization why I'm saying this? Because sometimes uh, when you are working in a company uh, with another product owners in the team, you need to prioritize everything. So the why I, that's why I'm saying that from prioritization with love, you need to love prioritization. You need to love to work with other people to, 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 to prioritize uh, correct. Good. Which are the challenges of prioritization? Um, are not a few challenges, are many challenges, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure you know about those challenges as well. But um, I will start with uh, having to position uh, at the same time. Like thinking, think about um, the fact that you need to take some uh, decision like being a user experience designer, in my case, being a user experience lead, uh, actually design lead and uh, being also the product owner so from time to time it's pretty hard for me to to, to and i need a, uh, i need some time to to reflect about how should i take the decision in this uh, in this moment i will give you an example um let's say we have um a shopping cart that need to be redesigned uh, from scratch and let's say that we have a phone or I don't know, a phone page redesign or a product page redesign from scratch. What should you use? What should you choose to, to prioritize first? And when I'm facing this kind of challenges, each time I'm going to trust the, the user and also to see exactly to, 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 to see uh, which are the data, which data, which analytics which, uh, uh, can help me to, to take this kind of decision. Because both decisions are very important for the end user. How do you, how do you choose that? For example, for the design perspective, I would say, okay, let's choose the, the redesign of shopping cart because this, uh, um, I don't know, is something larger than the, the product page, uh, has multiple flows, has multiple elements and uh, so on. And uh, being a product owner, I would say, okay, but the, but the shopping cart is uh, running okay. The, the user know exactly how to do it. Uh, but the, the product page uh, seems to be a little not really okay. And we want to sell more. We want to have in there, I don't know, uh, maybe some, um, um, some information of, uh, about the product. So sometimes it's pretty difficult to, 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 to know exactly which is the best decision. And when you have this, uh, this two position at the same time, it's harder, but it's not impossible. And it's very fun sometimes. Uh, when you need to prioritize both tasks for the design team and mix team, oh yeah, everyone. For example, in my uh, in my team, uh, my team uh, have four designers, two copywriters, and another UX designer, and uh, they are shared uh, resources. That means that everyone will uh, need to 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 take uh, uh, a resource from from my team, people, uh, uh, some 
people from my team actually. And what should I do in that moment? Because I would also need those people. I will need to discuss with the other product owners. So discussion with the other product owner will be the, the, the most important thing. And the challenge in here is related about the fact that, okay, so you need to discuss and you need to find the time, the correct time to discuss and you need to, to find the correct argument for you to have the team. And also uh, because the other developers and content creators and testers are also some shared teams and uh, shared, uh, shared people, you need also to negotiate the people. So from this kind of thing came a lot of uh, challenge. You need to be a very good seller <laughs> sometimes and you need to, to be a very good advocate because you need to sell your proposal and you need to be a very good advocate why you need to have that uh, task or to have that story prioritized compared to other PO's uh, story or task. Uh, share TM and more, many projects to do. Uh, for example, sometimes we are running multiple projects in this, at the same time and it's not easy uh, because you may face the fact that uh, both projects or third projects and so on are very, very important and you need to prioritize which project is more important and sometimes it's damn hard, very, very hard. Are things that, I don't know, you need to finish yesterday. <laughs> But, um, and another project that you need to finish today and both are very important and you need to, 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 to face this challenge and to, to take it uh, as, as it comes and to find the, the great solution to, to balance both, the, both projects. Changes that should be done as soon as possible. Oh yeah. Sometimes when your projects are running and you have everything very good established in your, um, I don't know, in your sprint and so on, are things that are, I don't know, are not working. Let's say that um, a feature is, or a feature in the flow is not working anymore. Like, I don't know, maybe the, um, know your customer feature for, uh, photographing and so on is not working what should you do in that uh, in that case you because it's a very important feature and the people are not able to to use the shopping cart anymore you should prioritize that kind of feature and the other feature you need to find a solution to reprioritize them especially because sometimes you do not have the people so these kind of things in my opinion in this moment are the largest uh, challenges. Are another small challenges, but those are manageable, but those kind of challenges are the most um, uh, challenge for, for, for me at least.